And here is a half of one of my hot boiled eggs. For me, perfect. Oh, I did it perfectly for me today. Doesn't happen every day. Carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants, no dairy. The next level cooking show. Carnivore recipes with meat, fish, seafood, eggs, gelatin, flavored seltzer, water and salt. From super easy to complicated. From quickly done to many hours in the kitchen. I always say everybody's body and brain are different and you gotta figure out what works best for you. The carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits, healing effects and is the best elimination diet. There are many different ways how to do carnivore. I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! Welcome to my creative carnivore kitchen. Carnivore Girl here and today I just want to show you how I hard boil my eggs. Well, not my eggs, chicken eggs. Um, in the Ninja Foodi. That's my to-go-to method. And now about eggs. So eggs uh, are always, well, I have here some eggs that I'm gonna hard boil today. You can have small eggs, medium eggs, large eggs, and then everyone likes the eggs differently. Even what does hard boiled eggs mean? Even there, there are so many different kinds of hard boiled eggs. For example, when I hard boil eggs for Paul, it doesn't really matter how many minutes I put them in and then I just leave them in there and then I'll take them out and put them in the fridge because he, hi he likes his eggs very hard boiled and like this, this is a hard boiled egg that I made for Paul. I fucking hate this ring. It's um, unless I want it because it looks cool and nice and for some reason I uh, used that once before but otherwise it's just too hard boiled it's too much done I don't like I like it when it's still a little bit I call it like waxy like uh, yeah like waxy and then also you have like yeah you or I need hard boiled eggs where it really has to be all the way done, but I still don't want this ring. And uh, yeah, some a little bit more done, some a bit, uh, little bit less. So there are so many different hard boiled egg variations. Basically every, I wanted to say every minute added makes a difference, probably every 10 seconds added. Well, actually every millisecond added makes a difference. Even maybe we don't see it, we don't taste it, but it's still different. Anyways, so for me to show you, to tell you how to hard boiled eggs for you is impossible. I can't. I can show you what I do. And so it depends and what you have to look for. So very important, it depends how big are the eggs you want to hard boil? Are they small? Are they large? Are they, is it an ostrich egg? Is it a quail egg? I don't even know if an ostrich egg would fit into the ninja foodie. Anyways, then altitude. Yes, I live high altitude. So here everything takes a little bit longer or I need to use a bit like for baking a little bit hotter. I need to use more temperature or it takes longer. So this is also very important to consider. And then how you like them. I created lists for me. You can actually see them here because so while, uh, yeah, I was learning 
what what I like and what I have to do with the ninja foodie. Then of course it also depends on um, the machine you're using, the ninja foodie, or are you using um, a pot with water? Anyways, so many variables. But for me here, I have large eggs, I have medium eggs, and then I have three minute eggs that takes uh, longer here to do, liquid yolk eggs, soft boiled eggs, medium boiled eggs, hard boiled could, but could still have not totally hard yolk. Yeah, that's how I wrote it, real hard boiled. So hard boiled wachsweich, wachsweich means that the waxy. So yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, really, I um, advise you to also start a list because then you not because I keep forgetting and then it's like, oh, I always like for a while now I used medium eggs and now I have large eggs. Fuck, I don't remember. Oh, that's what I usually do with the large ones. Here my ninja foodie and while I'm hard boiling eggs, I usually also clean my ninja foodie. Well, not the outside. I'm just talking about the pot and the rack it's both pretty dirty right now perfect for you to show so i um leave that in here i turn this over and i put the eggs in so my eggs are in here one cup of water at least or you can use more pressure lid now you always want well pressure you want low because my eggs are well not mine these eggs are room temperature they not directly from the fridge i this time i thought about it to take them out earlier um i also used it straight from the fridge and sometimes most times they don't break but sometimes one or two do but um low instead of high with pressure cooking is also better so they don't break as often so the best would be um, room temperature eggs low and the time now totally depends on all those things i told you i do five minutes okay so i have 18 seconds left and when it's done here, I can just turn that to vent for a fast release, what I will do. But I also do an ultra fast release. This red thing here, I'm gonna push that down, Oop, zero, done. Open. I turn it off. As soon as this stays down, I can open it. And now I put them here in color. So I call my hands baker's hands because I can just touch them. Doesn't really matter. And here's cold water. So use something or do like I do. You gotta put all of them in here. Okay, so you saw how I put the eggs in a bowl with water. Well, now it's empty. So here, it also depends. I had cold water in here that I actually put in the fridge while the eggs were um, boiling in the Ninja. Um, sometimes I have just cold water. I didn't put it in the fridge. Sometimes just uh, cold water plus ice. So it's ice water. So that also um, stops the cooking process much faster. So it depends. And then what did I do after I put them in the water? I went over to the sink and I, um, I dumped the, out the water, filled it up with more cold water, dumped it out. So I didn't just leave them in. The, the water got warm really fast, of course. So this, yes, it all depends what you do.
So here are my hard boiled eggs and I always um, put the date on it, just the day, not the month, because I'm gonna eat them before the month is over. So that's kind of what I say, that's how long they last in the fridge. And here is a half of one of my hot boiled eggs. For me, perfect. Oh, I did it perfectly for me today. Doesn't happen every day, every time. But you see, this is like waxy, I call it. And here in the middle, yeah, no, it's like, you see, I like this. And the color, see here, it's totally hard boiled and here it's still like waxy. Still a hard boiled eggs for me, perfect. And for what I wanna use it, also perfect. And here, the ninja foodie that, that I can clean up. Well, first of all, here, that broth, I mean, it's all um, with the beef, probably duck, turkey, chicken, lamb, I don't know, whatever I put in here, it's like that fat and protein and um, whatever was stuck on here. The broth is actually super delicious and nutritious. So you can totally drink that. And I, I don't have to show you how I clean this, but now um, the rack here, of course, it's still a bit hot. It's super easy to clean um, this here off. Oh my gosh, look at that. Can you just, you see how easy I can clean this? I can just wipe it off, but I usually use um, steel wool to clean this. And also the pot, um, well, mine is old. Mine doesn't get clean, very, as a totally shiny clean anymore. But um, it's so much easier to clean all that now because of the pressure, it got all loosened up. And now when it's still like uh, warm, so I, I usually do that right away afterwards and also with um, more hot water. Thanks for watching. If you try out this recipe, please tag me and let me know how you like it. Subscribe, share, like, comment, follow me on Instagram at Carnivore Girl. See you next week in my next episode of Carnivore Girl's Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants, no dairy, the next level cooking show.